So you'll see that once our photo is placed and it's loaded into our template here, um, we can select the photo again and there's some additional options that will come up on the uh, bounding box around the photo. And so the one we'll talk about is this crop in the bottom left hand corner. And so if we select that, it'll bring up our overlay and this will just give you a variety of uh, different frame options that you can place on your photo to sort of crop it how you like it. So let's say this player you can see here on the left, the number 71 here, let's say we want to get rid of him and just have the player that we'd like to focus on here. Um, so if we scroll down, we have a variety of just rectangular frames that um, load in automatically. We also have some other options on the left like star, there's some decorative, grunge, just a variety of different photo options. Um, so you can select any one of these that you like. We're just going to stick with the basic uh, rectangular one for now. And we'll find a nice navy one. This looks good. And then you can just um, click and drag the frame itself actually over the photo where you'd like it. And the same thing applies with the uh, scaling. You can scale it um, left and right, up and down, however you'd like it. So I think that looks good. We just want to get rid of that player on the right. Uh, that looks great. And then in the top left hand corner, whenever you have the frame placed like you like it, you just select the supply button. And what that's going to do is apply the frame to the photo. And so now you'll see the photo is still here the same way we had it, but the background has been removed, which is exactly what we want. So we can go ahead and click done now. And now we've got a nice frame on our photo.